Hi friends, welcome back to another vlog. I'm starting off today's vlog with a bunch of clips from our most recent trip to New Mexico. First off, just a bunch of pictures of scenery. And then while we were there, we hung out by the pool a lot. My sister made these like margarita sangrias and she used this wine on top, a liquid popsicle. It was such a yummy wine. It's like super, super sweet. Um, tried a new coffee creamer. So I had to share that of course, glazed donut. It was really good. And then of course got my pinion coffee um, because it's my favorite. Their biscuit lattes are the best. My stepmom went to Japan recently and brought back a bunch of treats. So I got some clips of all the different Japanese treats that she brought over um, and the kids and I all tried them out together. They were so yummy. And then she knows that pink and purple are my favorite colors so she brought me some purple earrings and some um, a purple bracelet and these are actually from Hawaii because she also went to Hawaii um, so we just got spoiled while we were there. And then I also got a pedicure, first pedicure in over a year. So here's some free feet pics for y'all. Just joking, of course. And now back to the rest of the vlog. All right, friends, I am back in Texas and just some fun stuff I've gotten recently, a bunch of hair ties. I've got three girls, plus I use these myself. So I got a big pack of these hair ties in all the different colors. And then I got some gel polish in the color black. Here's the box. Um, I just ordered it from Amazon, Wow Fun Perfect Polish. No idea how good it is because I haven't tried it yet, but um, there's the color. It's just black. Um, I got it in anticipation for fall. These are my nails still, same as last vlog. I think I'm going to do, because I did mention that I got a pedicure a few days ago, and I got like a light purple color. Um, I think I'm going to do like either light purple, or maybe I'll do like another like summery color, like light blue, light pink. Um, but I'm not going to do the black yet because, you know, it's still, we're at the end of summer, but it's still summer. So I'm going to save this for just a few more weeks. Um, but I didn't have black gel polish and I wear black polish all the time during like fall, even winter. Um, so I needed to get a gel color since I've been doing gel lately. Um, and yeah. Hello friends. So today is my son's birthday. His birthday video is already up, but I wanted to do a little OOTD jewelry, just wearing some plain hoops this amethyst heart necklace that um is probably chuggy but i don't care i love it because i love amethyst um that my husband got me for valentine's day uh the valentine's day before last i think this shirt um it's like a crop top peplum some shorts and then shoes are just bleh. just slides because that's all i ever wear I think most people use them as like house slippers, but they're so comfortable. I wear them everywhere and they're like, um, the soles are like thick enough that you could wear them out in public, you know? They're not like normal slippers, but here is it all put together. Oh, and then my rings, because I can wear my wedding ring in forever because I always wear, um, this silicone ring lately instead of my wedding ring because it's just so freaking comfortable. And this thing, I love it. It's beautiful, absolutely stunning, but it's so like big and bulky and gets in the way. Um, and then this ring, which has my kids' birthstones. Um, and then this ring, amethyst, um, because amethyst is my favorite. And that's my little OOTD because it's been a hot minute since I've dressed up. I can't, have I even dressed up? I, I think I dressed up 4th of July and that's the last time I really like dressed up hair and makeup and everything. And also I curled my hair, which I don't think I've done that since our cruise which was like almost two months ago now so yeah we're gonna go do some fun stuff today also on my lips because i'm like only wearing gloss today which i never do um where is it um i've been having like really really dry lips lately so i'm wearing this carmex the cherry carmex the mint one's my favorite, but wearing the cherry one and then on just the inner parts to make my lips a little plumper, I'm wearing the NYX Butter Gloss and this is in Sorbet. And it's just a nice little like 
pink, a little bit of a, a slight little coral tint to it. Um, it just gives them, makes them look a little more plumper. And yeah. Okay, friends, super quick OOTD. More like hair of the day. So I'm loving this hair. I just took, left the curls from yesterday um, and clipped them up. And so now I have this like messy curly updo. And then same necklace as yesterday, same earrings as yesterday. I switched out to a silicone ring. I also did my nails today. Um, and then, and then this blue romper and block slides today. And yes, and then nails. Since I did purple toes when I did my nails, I was actually going for purple nails. So I mixed, I did, um, these are gel by the way. I did this. 119 from i method and then put this 120 on top and this is like a grayish purple and this is a like very sparkly light blue and i thought maybe if i put them together um it'll look more purple than like gray i've got a crying kid i don't know why they're crying so i just gave them cake um but I thought if I put them together, they'd look more like a purple and match my toes a little more. Um, they didn't. They actually came out this gorgeous silver, probably because I'm guessing that when this one dries, it actually looks more gray. And I'll open these up and actually show you what they look like on their own. But it's this gorgeous silver color, and I actually love it. Um, so there's new nails. And I will just insert like a couple clips of how they look in like natural lighting because um, they look so pretty like they just sparkle so so much. But yeah, I'm loving them. I also filed them into more because before they were more rounded, um, I filed them so they'd be more like pointy, just like a slight little points at the top. I feel like that's more trendy right now. Um, and so there's where we are. Let me open these. So here's the 119. I don't even think it's coming up very purple on camera but it's very like a grayish purple and then 120 is this sparkly blue and then mix them together you get this like silvery white not what I was going for but still so gorgeous so now I'm going to clean off my bathroom counter from my nail mess but I am drinking this RC Cola um, I keep telling myself I'm going to quit soda and, um, again. I'm always on again, off again with soda. Um, I told myself I was going to quit and here I am drinking an RC Cola. And if you want to know something about me, I cannot tell the difference between RC Cola and Coca-Cola. I also cannot tell the difference between Dr. Pepper and Mr. Pibb. I've been opting for soda over coffee lately um, and I really am trying to quit, but it's just so good. <laughs> My friend Mary introduced these to me. Hi Mary, if you're watching, but they're the Malibu Splash drinks. These are so good. They're um, seltzers, but they're sweetened and they taste like coconut fruit sodas. They're all like a coconut flavor. So if you like coconut, you'll love them. But passion fruit and coconut, lime and coconut, pineapple and coconut, and then my favorite is strawberry and coconut. And that is also the one that I'm drinking right now. My husband had to go to three different stores until he finally found them, but they are so, so yummy. Super, super quick. I just got this big thing of barrettes off of um, Amazon. Um, it was 120 barrettes for $8 at Walmart. I was looking at Walmart's grocery pickup. It was $2 for 12. So you can do the math. 12 for two dollars or 120 for eight dollars this was a much better deal 
Um, plus, like, I have three girls and I'll use them myself. So, you know, I can deal with 120 brats in um, all kinds of colors. So, got these for their hair. I haven't used these on myself in forever. Um, but there's been so many times where I'm like, I would much rather have a brat than a, like, bobby pin or a hair clip or something right now. So, these are going to come in handy. But yeah, really, really great deal on Amazon. And I'm actually even going to go through and pick out these like neutral colors to stash in my bathroom. These are the colors that I will most likely use on me. And then save all the colorful ones for the girls to, you know, match with like their outfits and stuff. Put all these ones, save in for my, that one's a little, little bit on the coral side, but all these ones I'm going to save for myself. Hi friends, I've got another grocery haul for you, just the fun stuff. Um, this Atkins coffee protein shake is my absolute favorite um, protein shake, but I did get the Cake Batter Delight from Premier Protein. This is always sold out every time I want to try it, every time I want to order it, because I do grocery pickup. Uh. But they finally had it in stock, so we're going to try this one, and then I got my favorite. I got a couple new dressings to try, um, both from this brand called Brianna's. They have had like really good reviews because um, Walmart's grocery pickup used to not have reviews on the app. Um, they have reviews now and both of these had really good reviews. Um, so I thought I'd try the cilantro lime dressing and then the Caesar dressing because Caesar dressing is usually my favorite. These Justin's peanut butter cups are also my favorite. I like cannot eat Reese's anymore because these are just so good. Reese's just don't compare. So I got these for me. I also like to freeze them. They're really good. And then I was looking through um, the great value like meal kits because they're very like affordable. And so I thought we'd try a bunch of their different mac and cheeses. I've got a toddler right here helping me. So we have the cheddar Havarti the white cheddar, black pepper, and the garlic and herb. And all these are from their artisan crafted. So we're gonna try these, you know, easy dinners. And then um, for desserts and stuff, we have these Great Value Dinosaur Bones Brownie Kit. This also popped up when I was looking at the Great Value Meals. I wasn't like looking for brownies this time. Cause if you saw last vlog, I got so many brownie kits last vlog. Um, but Dinosaur Bones Brownie Kit, and it even comes with a shovel to dig the bones out. We'll see how that ends up going because I've got four kids. I have a feeling they're going to fight over the shovel. I got this um, Epic, uh, what is this, pancake kit. I actually don't love these Epic, the dessert kits. They're just like, it's too much. It's too much sugar. Um, they're not my favorite. There's too much going on. They have like just so many toppings and stuff. It's too sweet for me. But I thought the brownie or the pancake kit didn't look too bad. I guess it kind of does because you have chocolate chips and the chocolate pancakes and chocolate on top and sprinkles. But we're going to try it regardless. Do it for breakfast one of these mornings. And then I thought we'd try this. I've actually never had chocolate peanut butter. Um, so we're going to try that. And then just for me, I got this tiny little baby bouquet of flowers. Look at it next to my hand. It is so small, but it's so cute and pretty. And that's it for the fun stuff today. I also have all of this because tonight I'm going to try my hand at a Tres Leches cake. I found this recipe that uses box mix and vanilla jello. I've got a baby who just woke up. Um, and so we are, I'm gonna try that and then I'll show you what it looks like. Cause there's this place, this restaurant that we go to, it's called Chewy's, it's here in Texas. Um, I don't know if it's any in any other state, but it's called Chewy's. They have the best Tres Leches cake. I get it every time and so I'm gonna, I've never made it myself before, so I'm gonna make it myself. So Tres Leches cake is done. Covered it in strawberries, it's huge. I doubled the recipe to fit in this big pan, but luckily, <coughs> hi. Luckily I have a family of six, so we'll eat it all. And then, I don't, did I show this earlier? I can't remember. Here is the little bouquet I got, perfect size for a tiny little mason jar. The flowers are kind of like drooping already though. I don't know if I need to mix them around so they'll stand up better, like they'll lean on other flowers and stand up better. But um, we've got we've got cake and flowers. 
Okay friends, so it is that time of year, back to school, supply time, which means back to school haul time. Um, I've done back to school hauls, at least like include it in a vlog every couple years. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Here are all the supplies. I've got kindergarten supplies on this side, fourth grade supplies on this side. There's a fly right there. Um, fourth grade supplies on this side. I don't know if anyone cares to watch this stuff because honestly it's like it's the same every year but notebooks folders expo markers a crying one-year-old washable markers crayons watercolors lots of glue lots of pencils scissors sandwich bags disinfecting wipes tissues and a pencil box and over here more tissues gallon bags disinfecting wipes Composition notebooks, red pens, highlighters, pencils. Someone's running out of goldfish over there. That's why she's fussy. Um, pencils, expo markers, Sharpie markers, pencil box, scissors. Um, what are these called? Erasers, paper, crayons, markers, glue, folders. That's probably the quickest school supply haul I've done for two kids. I can't believe I'm gonna be doing this for four kids one of these years. Um, yeah, I'm going to pack this all up and then I will show you the, I don't know, the more fun stuff, the clothes and backpacks and stuff. That's, it's at least more fun for me. All right, so first off, backpacks. My mother-in-law got the kids some new backpacks. She got this tiny one for my two-year-old so she wouldn't be left out. And she got this one for my kindergartner. It comes with a backpack, lunchbox, gadget pouch, and keychain. Here's the keychain and gadget pouch. Um, they're from Justice and just like pink and sparkly with stars. Um, so that's her backpack and lunchbox. And then Minecraft backpack for my oldest. And he's using the same lunchbox as last year, which is a Zelda. Um, you know, he's my little gamer boy. I also did put all their supplies in these Aldi bags so we can take them to um, meet the teacher night. And then shoes, neither of these are brand spanking new. These are hand-me-downs for my brother that he never wore. Um, so these are gonna be new school shoes. And then these my mother-in-law got my daughter like a couple months ago actually, but they're practically brand new. So I'm not gonna get her new shoes just yet. I'm gonna wait till she wear the wears these out. Um, she also has another pair that are slightly worn out, but perfectly fine for school. So I'm gonna wait to get um, either of them new shoes because these are both practically brand new like I said all right and then very last thing I did get the kids some new shirts um all of these are from children's place I love children's place I say this all the time they have free shipping no minimum order you could buy something that's a dollar and get free shipping all of these were on sale um so we have this cat with glasses on vomiting a rainbow a roller skating unicorn a shark eating a wrong way sign and then this dinosaur shirt danger no entry go back so just a couple of new shirts okay and then very last thing i did get this for my daughter before i knew my mother-in-law was getting the kids um backpacks it's a Disney princess backpack and lunchbox. I'm actually gonna donate it to our PTA though because they are doing like a um, like a supply fundraiser. So I'm gonna go ahead and donate it, but I wanted to share it on here before I do, just in case you know you are searching for school supplies for your little ones still. I know, I think most schools have started back already, but just in case, because I do know some start late August or beginning of September, um, this is from Amazon. The quality is okay. It'll probably only last one year though. It's still cute and it comes with a matching lunchbox. And I'm gonna keep it in this bag and stuff. So that way, um, you know, whoever gets it, gets it like brand spanking new. But yeah, I think that is going to be it for today's vlog. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.